Today I'm resitting the exact same GCSE maths paper that I sat 8 years ago at just 16 years old. Believe it or not, this is a glow up. Now when I originally sat these papers in 2015, I got an A star. Yeah, no, stop it, stop it. Genius. Basically a child prodigy. Einstein's regen is what some people called me. Not really, I just revised. But today I thought it'd be interesting to see how much has actually stuck and whether there's actually any point in all of this. Or is it just a big waste of time? Anyway, let's crack on with the first paper. It's non-calculated later and I will have one hour 45 minutes. Your time starts now. Shows information in an ordered stem and leaf diagram. I've not done one of these since this exam. Why would you do one of these? What's the point? How embarrassing. Imagine if you rocked up to work and started doing a, a stem and leaf diagram. You get laughed out of the office. Sean works for a town council. He wants to find out how many people use the BMX track. Sorry, are people at the council being paid to do this? Am I paying for Sean to just lounge about at some BMX track? We're looking around children. Am I paying for that? Why is he looking around a BMX track? Why does he care? Just have a BMX track. Just let it live. Design a suitable question for Sean to use in his questionnaire. I don't know. Do I? Do I look like I work for the council? On to the next question. Now oh, Jane's making cheese. Of course she is. The cheese in the shape of a cuboid. Jane's gonna make a new cheese. Arbitrage. The new cheese will also be in the shape of a cuboid. Convenient. What's the point? I've never worked out the volume of cheese. I've barely even had cheese since I left. Never mind work out the volume of it. And therefore it must be 12 centimetres there for X is 12. I don't know. Probably. John buys some boxes of pencils and a packet of pens for some people to use at a conference. I hate them already, I'm gonna be honest. How many boxes of pencils and how many packets of pens did John buy? So that means it's three boxes of pencils. Eight packets of pens. So I'm sweating my testicles off. Mary's going to cover the floor with tiles. That's stupid. That is really quite dumb actually to do that. You don't want to be putting tiles in a conservatory. Who does that? Put a carpet down. She'll get a discount 25% off the cost of the tiles. Why? She's definitely slept with someone that's working at this company. Definitely. 25% off. Okay, so £124. Then she gets a discount 25% because she's sleeping with the owner. So, does Mary have enough money to buy all the tiles she needs? Yes. Okay, we're about halfway through the paper, I reckon now how long we've got left an hour and eight minutes carl wants to raise money for charity bit of a do-gooder by the sounds of it ali plays the game once work out the probability that ali will win the game the only time this comes in handy when, once you've left school is if you become a gambling addict that's about it each person pays 30p to play the game oh he's brought money into it for charity he's definitely creaming off the top of that a little bit you know in the pocket he'll make 10 pounds for charity is it worth it no no, it's not worth it. Okay, we're more than halfway through. Just 10 questions to go now. Come on. Look who's joining me for this exam. Look at him there. Sunbathing. It's all right for some, isn't it? Some of us are doing an exam here. Does point D lie on a straight line that passes through A and B? How am I supposed to know? Some of this stuff you've just got to admit defeat. You know I mean? you just got to go, what's the point? What's the point? We'll just skip this. I'm going to skip it. 50 minutes to go and we've got like eight questions left. Chuckle, chuckle vision. Chuckle vision, chuckle, chuckle vision. Pretty confident with the first 12 questions. I've gotten close to full marks. The next 10? Eh, whatever. I mean, whatever. Just have a little have a little laugh with it. Oh, inequalities as well. Ugh. Ugh, makes me sick. Inequality makes me sick. And war. <sighs> Question 19. Five more to go. Come on. Hannah takes at random a sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. Greedy cow. Hannah then takes at random another sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. Scoffing her fat face. I do kind of get this one, but I don't really know how to show it. It's another one that I kind of just want to avoid. Yeah, I'm going to avoid that one. Solve n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero to find the value of n. We're just messing around with numbers, eh? But what's n? Maybe n's nothing. Maybe n's like uh, a symbol. Maybe it's symbolism for like a, a cult or something. Maybe they sacrifice children or something, I don't know. It could be some sort of satanic thing. How long we got left? 29 minutes, Jesus. I've nailed it. I've, I've nailed it. Come on. Actually, no, I haven't. I kind of just, again, feel like going, no, I don't need your marks. But we're so close. Two questions left. Come on. Come on. How long we got left? 10 minutes. Ugh, 10 minutes to try and get these four marks. Eight minutes to go. Yeah, I've, I've balls that up. Ugh, right, that's it. With four minutes to spare, I've finished the paper. We'll see what happens. Try my best. That's what they always say. Just try your best. Okay, on to paper two, and this is the calculator paper. Usually it's a little bit harder than the other one, even though you've got a calculator. That's that's why they give you it, because it's harder, I think. But I feel I'm not going to do as well on this one. Always start with a bit of positivity. That always helps. I've been out for fish and chips, so I do look a little bit of a mess. 
guess right now. That's what fishing chips does to me. Is that just me or anyone else? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Write down the probability that the sweet is a dark chocolate caramel. Oh, can we not? God, this is such nonsense. Like, when do you ever need to do this? When are you ever buying a box of Revels and you start working out the probability that you're picking one out or something like that? Do you know what I mean? It just never happens. Never happens. Stupid. I can see why people balls up the GCSEs because if you don't have a certain attitude to them, you're just going to be like, oh, I can't be arsed because they are a right pain in the arse. Use your calculator to work that out. That's literally just checking if you've got fingers. Redland School sent X students to a revision day. Each student paid £15 for revision day. £15 to revise? That's a rip-off, is that? 15 quid? Why are you paying for revision day? That's your job. That's your job to help us revise. 15 quid. It's a scandal. It should be in the papers. See, I love this kind of stuff. I could do this on a long car journey or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is just lovely. Therapeutic almost, this expanding of brackets. Question nine, come on, we're blasting through it. Like a third of the way through. Easy. The frequency table gives information about the numbers of emails sent by 51 teachers on Monday. Probably gossiping. What did you get up to at the weekend? Oh, I was out on the lash and I got off with someone. Probably all that sort of gossip. Teachers love it. Nalini says that at least a quarter of these teachers sent more than 30 emails. Of course they did. The dirty pervs. 29.5. 4% is greater than 25%, therefore, yes. Here is a scale drawing of an office. A photocopier is going to be put in the office. The photocopier has, been, has to be closer to B than A. Who's caught with this then? This is middle management getting involved, I reckon. The feng shui and all that, that's probably what it is. The diagram shows the top of Levi's birthday cake. Oh, I didn't know it's spoilt. Name after the jeans, honestly. Spoilt. The top of the cake is in the shape of a circle. Ooh, ooh, circular cake. Put some F in. So in other words, that's the perimeter. Work out if the length of one ribbon is long enough to go all the way around. No, because 55.9 is greater than 50. Work out the bearing of A from B. What? Martin runs from chat point A to chat point B. I don't mind reading it again as if it's going to make any more sense. It's not. It's not going to make any more sense. I've got a clue. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that one. It's making my head go a bit mental. Standard form. What does that mean? Standard form. When do you use standard form for anything? I've never heard the term. Liquid A has a density of 0 0.7 grams. Work out the density. Oh my god. Am I supposed to know this? I'm feeling a bit dense reading this. I don't know. That's my final answer. I don't know. Honestly, what a right pain in the ass this is. What's the point? For what? A GCSE. You forget about them anyway. Once you've done your GCSEs, they become pointless when you go on to A-levels. Pointless. Absolutely pointless GCSEs. Scrap them. Get rid. Get rid. Get them working in the mines. It's another show that question. I hate it. I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's the kind of right lines. I hope I get some marks for that. I'll give myself some. Don't worry. Claire is making a loaf of bread. Why are all these people up to stuff? I'm sat here doing an exam. I'd love to be making a loaf of bread right now. What we want is 1.1 divided by 88 to try and find 1%. 1, 2, 5. You see, this is where I come into my element. That is bread and butter for me, is that? Bread and butter. I'll take the three marks there. That's easy for three marks. This late on in a paper. Oh, oh, I love that. Sat here in a sweaty room. Sweating. For what? Oh, a qualification. Oh, get, go get a career. Go do something with your life. No. Make some YouTube videos and shut up. God, this is boring. Deserve a medal, forget the GCSEs. Give me a damn medal. 23 minutes to go and I have two questions left. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ, of which I do not believe in. On the grid, construct the graph of, uh, uh, I don't like it. This does bring back memories because I was actually happy that I did get this one at the time. I'm pretty sure I remember revising this and it just happened to come up. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Obviously there's a line. Oh, right, I've done. I've finally finished. Oh. Oh my word. Skipped a few, obviously on this one. It was a little bit trickier. Ugh, a bit rusty. Anyway, let's go through, mark both of the papers and see what grade we get. Will I be able to reclaim that A star that I got eight years ago? Or will I fail? Okay, the results are in. Try to follow the mark scheme, yada, 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 whatever. On the first paper, out of 100, I got 66. On the second paper, out of 100, I got 69. So out of 200, I got 135. And here's the moment of truth. Is that enough to get us an A star? Do I still have it? Am I still a child prodigy? Or am I just a sweaty mess? 135 gives me an A. Oh no, I've gone down a grade. I got an A grade. That's not bad. Eight years later, I went from an A star to an A. Well, surprisingly, I've actually retained more knowledge than I expected in the last eight years. It's still all nonsense, don't get me wrong. Like, it's still not worth remembering. So you may as well forget it all. It's a load of nonsense. I've not used any of this, ever. Maybe I'm still a child prodigy. Even though I'm not a child, am I? <sighs> Honestly, thank God I didn't bother doing all the other exams. Pain in the ass.